Okay. So, the word of God, let us begin by saying, let all mortal flesh keep silence. Let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly minded, for with blessing in his hand, Christ our Lord to earth descended, our full homage to demand. King of kings, yet born of Mary, as of old on earth he stood, Lord of lords in human vesture, in the body and the blood, he will give to all the faithful his own self for heavenly food. Rank on rank the hosts of heaven spreads his vanguard on the way as the light of light descendeth from the realms of him this day that the powers of hell may vanish as the darkness clears away at his feet the six-winged seraph Cherubim with sleepless eye Veil their faces to the presence As with ceaseless voice they cry Alleluia, 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 Lord Most High Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit Amen Blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to all hearts are open, all desires known, and for me no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts for hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, grant we beseech thee that by the influence of the Holy Spirit we may be enlightened and strengthened for thy service through Jesus Christ the Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the unity of the same Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. A reading from Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So they put so they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Acts chapter ten, verses nine through twenty-three. I'm sorry, 
A reading from Acts chapter 13, verses 1 through 12. In the church of Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simon called Niger, Luke, Lucius of uh, Caesarean, uh, Nan, Nan, I believe it is, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and feasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them out. The two of them, sent on their way by the Holy Spirit, went down to uh, Selechia and sailed from there to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. John was with them as their helper. They traveled through the whole land until they came to uh, Paphos. There they, had, they met a Jewish sorcerer and false prophet named Bar-Jesus, who was attended who was an attendant of the proconsul, uh, Sergius Paulus. The proconsul, an intelligent man, sent for Barnabas and Saul because he had wanted to hear the word of God. But Eliamus, the sorcerer, uh, for that is what his name means, uh, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul from the faith. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elamias and said, You are a child of the devil, an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? Now the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to be blind, and for a time you will be unable to see the light of the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he groped about, seeking someone to lead him by the hand. When the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, for he was amazed at the teaching about the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thank you to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Acts chapter 13 verses 1 through 12. Glory out to I, you, dear Lord. I mean, uh, St. Luke chapter 12 verses 41 through 48. St. Luke chapter 12 verses 41 through 48. Peter asked, Lord, are you telling this parable to us or to everyone? The Lord answered, Who then is the faithful and wise manager who has, uh, whom the master put in charge of his servants to give them their food allowance at the proper time? It will be good for that servant whom the master finds doing so when he returns. I tell you the truth, he will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose the servant says to himself, my master is taking a long time in coming, and he will begin the coming, and he then begins to beat the uh, men servants and maid servants and to eat and drink and get drunk. The master of that servant will come at, on a day when he does not expect him, 
and at an hour he is not aware of. He will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the unbelievers. The servant who knows his master's will and does not get ready or does not do what his master wants will be beaten with many blows. The master who knows his servant or knows his master's will and does not get ready or does not do what his master wants will beat him with many blows. But the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. For everyone who has been given much, uh, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much will be asked. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Now, when we look at this, uh, what Jesus is saying here. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind here, uh, I not only have a, a 93 credit hour Master Divinity, but also a 45 credit hour uh, uh, Master Business Administration. So, like, when I look at the things that Jesus is saying here about, you know, the servants doing things at the proper times and, and things of that nature, it kind of, I'll give you a parallel here. Uh, one time recently, it was actually, I think, uh, uh, yesterday even, but recently we went to uh, the Dillon home, and one of the things there that was said at the Dillon home is that the owner of the factory, the, the Northwestern Steel and Wire Factory, uh, he had a certain hat he wore, and he would go down the factory and... Uh, you know, if, if somebody didn't look like they were doing their job, he would question them. And then if they didn't have a good reason as to, you know, like why they were the way they were, then uh, uh, he'd fire them. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of, uh, just giving you that as an example, you know, when we go throughout the world and we do things, we want to keep in mind the value of importance on things. Mass is critically important. It is, it is, um, you know, essentially important. We don't want to ignore it at all. But it's one of those things where, you know, like if we're doing mass like a couple days a week, and, and we're looking at maybe even doing a third day a week, and uh, if you know, it's the case that that we know that we can maybe put it off for like 30 minutes or something and if we are in a situation where something's more pressing then I mean we're already doing it like three days a week so or, or two days a week or something like that uh, if there's a lot of people here it really matters it really matters a lot and uh, if there's even a couple people here that are going to be coming it matters a lot but um, uh, I know that just to give an example it's the same way with stores around here some stores these days you know they're they're open during certain times uh, that they'll have posted sometimes the stores will close earlier than that sometimes they might close later uh, it depends on what's going on now ideally you know we want to get in the practice where you know we're there at the right time and it's always the same time and uh, and we're doing what we need to be doing and we have a lot of people and uh, and so it takes you know a lot of grace here a lot of grace here it takes a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, commitment uh, I know that you know sometimes it's the case that you know a person can get sick and um, you know maybe maybe you're a priest and you get sick and 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 you know you find that you can't you know reasonably do mass maybe you got diarrhea real bad and I've had situations like that before myself that's where it's nice to have other priests to come in and do mass you know and uh, help out with that uh, but 
getting drunk and beating each other and stuff, that's not good. We don't want to get in that habit. Um, and, you know, we don't want to just delay mass when it should be done. You know, we want to try to make the best effort we can, reasonably can, to, to do when we're, when we're priests, to do mass at the time when, when it's supposed to be done. So, um, you know, reasonably reasonably can and so like you know because you know we we see here you know we see here just just like in, in what the scripture says here you know that who's the wise manager that gives the food allowance at the proper time you know uh, is good for the servant whose master finds him doing what he you know what he's supposed to be doing and returns uh, I will tell you the truth, he'll put him into charge of much possessions for the servant. But suppose the servant says to himself, My master's taking a long time to come in, and he then begins to beat the uh, uh, men's servants and maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and an hour he is not aware of, he will cut him into pieces. and assign him a place with the unbelievers you know this is it's really the case here where where we want to be fair with people you know we don't want to be like beating each other and, and treating each other really poorly and, and um, you know it's, it's really hard it's really hard I know that um, I know that sometimes like with spiritual development uh, sometimes there are times when when people can go through stages where they're very abrasive maybe to each other uh, in terms of like uh, uh, how they, they treat each other that's not good that's not good uh, if you are you know I certainly pray that you would you know be more peaceful uh, Sometimes, you know, it's the case that some people, when they, when they receive the Word of God, they act like John the Baptist, you know. And, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's, it's like Christ going to the marketplace, you know, uh, with the whip and stuff like that. But if you are that way, you know, I certainly hope you're not that way your whole life. So, I mean, that, um, you know, that people grow and develop and uh, mature and that if it is that way that it's, it's that way out of righteousness and, and not out of like some sort of some sort of um, hatred or loathing or, or, or some sort of um, you know uh, wrong feelings of, of trying to get back at people or something that's not good some kind of malice you know I don't want to do stuff out of malice so you guys probably know what you should be doing and um, a lot of this is to say that, um, that, you know, when we know what we should be doing, that's what we should be doing. And, um, you know, because we don't want to be, you know, in a situation where we're not doing the right thing and, and the master comes and catches us that way. You know, you don't want to be like somebody that, that is, is really slacking off, so to speak. You know, we want to we want to be gracious to others too so that we we can receive grace as well and um, so these are these are all very important things um, you know it, it it is the case that that um, you know when I when I read these these scriptures here I, I mean it, it's very it's very concerning to me uh, and it's one of those things where where I reflect upon this and, and I have to you know acknowledge my own shortcomings and so so do you possibly when you hear these things you know acknowledge your own shortcomings some of this too you know we ask for God's forgiveness and we ask for his grace um, in our lives um, and um, it, it's important that when we when we um, 
live in this life that we do so in peace and that we we not only do so in peace but but that we um, that we truly give glory to God and that we worship God and that um, you know we we impart peace on others even if possible and so um, that we're full of much grace and um, because when we the more grace the less judgment there has to be so uh, having said all that god bless uh, keep you always now and forever uh, we believe in one god the father the almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternal begotten the father god from god light from light true god from true god begot not made of one being with the father through him all things are made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven by the power of the holy spirit he became incarnate from the virgin mary was made man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and sit at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. Be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, faithful ministers, Lord, and sacraments. We pray for all who govern the whole authority of the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. Works make my favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the part eternal rest, let life perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have rendered joy. May we also come to share the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our needs and for those of others. So, if you have any needs to pray for, Mom, any needs to pray for our special. For Rockfall, I'm Sterling Town, and the government, the mayor, also. Dixon Mayor and uh, the homeless, the stranger, and the soldier who guard us, and uh, also to our friend and the brother who asks us to pray for them. And we pray also for our ministry to Ryan Michel. Everybody who don't have the Holy Spirit, also 
things that Archbishop mentioned. I pray, Father God, that uh, you would guide and direct me in all matter of righteousness and salvation, the same way with uh, all of us here in this house and all those that are watching, that uh, you would guide and direct us in all matter of righteousness and salvation. I pray, Father, that God, that you forgive us of our shortfalls, that, uh, you know, if we are, uh, uh, you know, coming up short there with, uh, with, with um, the way that we do things. I pray, Father God, that you would forgive us of our sins and trespasses, lead us into all manner of righteousness and salvation. I pray, Father God, that uh, you would uh, have mercy on us. Uh, all those out there that, uh, that do ministry, that uh, uh, you know, maybe Maybe they have other things, that, other obligations in their life that they have to attend to, um, and they, they do ministry. I pray, Father God, that you have mercy on us, uh, deliver us from evil. Uh, pray, Father God, that you cause us to, to grow our own man of righteousness and salvation. Show us what is right and, and cause us to do it faithfully in grace and love. Bestow your grace and love upon us. Provide for us, care for us. Cause us to have more abundance of all good things. I pray, Father God, for uh, uh, Servanus Paul Bada, that you would help uh, establish his congregation, uh, his church building. Uh, cause, lead him in all matter of righteousness and salvation. Cause him to know more instead of less of all good things. Cause him to uh, be able to have a thriving congregation. I pray for my mother's health and wellness. Uh, I pray that um, you would give her good health and wellness. I pray for the indwelling of the Holy Ghost for for all of us here uh, in ever increasing ways that we would have the fruits of the Holy Holy Spirit. Uh, and uh, uh, pray, Father God, that you deliver us from all evil, guide and direct us, protect us, and, uh, continue to love us more and more. And I pray, Father God, that uh, if there's anything that uh, I've said uh, to displease you in any way, that uh, uh, you would uh, 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 make it clear uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and not, uh, not cause uh, people to follow that but only uh, for people to follow what is right. Yeah, and pray, Father God, that uh, you deliver all those watching from evil, uh, all of us as well. Uh, God, protect us, guard our, our hearts, guard us. Um, I pray that um, all those that we prayed for before, that um, you know, we would continue to pray for, that we continue to pray for. Pray, Father God, if it would be appropriate to furnish your will, that I would find uh, uh, Janie, who I've been looking for, uh, and uh, be able to you know, know how things are with that. Uh, pray, Father God, that uh, you love us and provide for us <coughs> more now and forever. All <coughs> Let us confess our sins. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. But what we have done, we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may delight in your will, walk in your ways, through glory of your name. Amen.
Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, for Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in your own life. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, your sins are absolved you. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. Thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father, mighty creator of heaven and earth. Therefore we proclaim, Therefore, we praise you, join our voice with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself, and when we have fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave the disciples, and said, Take ye, this is my body which is given for you, do this remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave to them and said, Drink this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this remembrance of me. Therefore, proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memory of our redemption, O Father, in a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and in the life in heaven. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, we are with all your saints in the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask for your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him. And to you, the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, O my Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as Christ, your Savior, has taught us, as indeed taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in, as earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have yes. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have yes. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Yes. Grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Let our Lord Jesus Christ keep your in life. And Father, and Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, keep your last life. You know, Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, amen. Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, keep your last life. You know, Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, amen.
Play our Lord Jesus Christ, keep your ass on him. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Christ keep your eyes alive. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. continue with him uh, song number six Lord rebuke me not in thine indignation neither chasten me in thy displeasure I have mercy upon me O Lord for I am weak O Lord heal me for my bones are vexed my soul also is sore troubled, but Lord, how long wilt thou punish me? Turn thee, O Lord, and deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death no man remembereth thee, and who will give thee thanks in the pit? I am weary of my groanings. Every night I wash Every night wash I my bed, and my water my couch with my tears. My beauty is gone for very trouble, and worn away because of all my enemies. Away from me all ye that work iniquity, for the Lord hath, Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my uh, petition. The Lord will receive my prayer. All my enemies shall be comforted and sore vexed. They shall be turned back and put to shame suddenly. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Since now in the world of peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and sounds of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and knowledge of the love of God. The Son, Jesus Christ, the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, be among you, may with you always. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. How are you? How are you? So just to give you an addendum here, so to speak, to the service, uh, I'll tell you that I'm in a uh, position there where you know I might have to be called away to disasters and to take care of that. And so, you know, when I look at this and I think about, you know, uh, Mass and the Eucharist and that kind of thing, I have to realize that, you know, I might have to go somewhere else and, and um, at, at just all of a sudden, and um, that's where I had, I had told, you know, my mother and uh, me to tell other people as well that, um, uh, 
that, you know, if I'm not here to do mass, if there's nobody else here to do mass, that, you know, you guys need to, you know, go to a good and godly place where they love you and where, where you know, you love them and where, um, uh, you know, it's based upon uh, the succession of apostles and, and where they, they do the sacraments and, and it's a good and godly place. And so, you know, it is the case that sometimes, you know, we, we might find ourselves in a situation where where we have to, um, you know, change what we do. And, and uh, you know, and there are times, like I said, where, you know, priests get sick and things like that. And, and sometimes we, we have obligations we have to take care of. And, and when you're a small church, you know, it, uh, I don't believe uh, you should fret as much uh, as long as you, you know, you're doing what you, know, you reasonably can do um, that you're supposed to be doing. Um, and uh, it's the case just today, for example, Archbishop and I we were looking for underwear and uh, we looked at one store, looked at another, and uh, you know, we came here a little bit later than usual, but it's the case that um, uh, sometimes it takes us a while to get set up. So, um, you know, for various reasons that there's obstacles in our way and stuff. But when you have a dedicated church building, a church building that, you know, is set aside where, you know, you're able to control the land completely you're able to control the parking lot completely. You know, you're able to go in and out as, as you know, the, the, the church is completely over all that. Then, um, and, and people are going there regularly. Um, then, you know, you want to have regular services. But if it's just like a couple people where they already know, you know, your situations and, and whatnot, uh, you know, it's, you know, you can, you can work with them. So I'm telling you this because some of you that might be watching uh, may, be, may be interested in a call to ministry and I, I, or may be feeling a call to ministry. And I know that some of the things that Jesus says here might seem very harsh uh, and, and they're meant to be that way uh, because uh, you can have a situation where, um, you know, some people, they, they, you know, they need that, especially, you know, they, they you know, if, if they don't hear those words, then, then they will not, you know, they'll do it any time. You know, they, they will not ever get into a pattern of, of doing what's right when it needs to be expected. And so, um, but we should always try to try to strive for you know, doing what's right when it needs to be when it's expected and stuff like that and, and work toward work toward that so uh, but uh, like I say you know keep in mind there can be there can be a lot of grace here uh, so anyway God bless you all you know I pray that uh, God keep you safe and, and uh, I love you for always and that uh, you know, if you feel a call to ministry today, that uh, you would even reach out to us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. God bless.